Hi there, and let's get to it. Let's first identify how we work with clips on the timeline. You can click to select a clip, which makes it active, as represented by the orange outline. You'll also notice that whenever I click on a clip, my media pool reflects where this media can be found. Click on the empty part of the timeline and drag across to select multiple clips. Right now, my audio is being selected as well because my clips are linked to their respective audio files. You can make discontinuous selections by holding the control or command key on your keyboard. Or you can combine the two, so I can click and drag across and then hold my command key to make deselections. And anytime you want to deselect, simply click in an empty part of the timeline or the track list. I'm going to lay down a few more tracks onto video track 2 to start demonstrating how the auto selection button works. With auto selection enabled in both tracks, I'm going to lay down an endpoint near the start and one a bit later. And if I click backspace, that entire section has disappeared. I'm going to undo, control Z, to bring this back. But this time I am going to turn off the auto select on the top track. And if I click backspace, I'm only deleting the clips on the tracks that had auto select enabled. I'm going to Command Z to undo this again, and I'm going to click on Alt X to remove these in and out points. Since we're looking at deleting, I thought I'd demonstrate a few delete options. Once again, let me indicate in and out points. If I press backspace, I delete everything that was active and leave a gap. I'm going to undo this, and with the same selection, I'm now going to press the forward delete button on my keyboard. When I do this, once again the clips get removed, but this time they also close the gap behind them. I could have used the backspace key, but then I would have had to make a further selection of this gap and backspace again to accomplish the same thing. So using the forward delete key helps ripple my edit and close that gap automatically with one click. Do be careful though, because if you're working with something with an audio sync, or if you're playing around with the auto selection function on certain tracks, closing the gap like that could end up off syncing your entire edit. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.